So, I guess it's going to be day one. Couple things that I bought. I still have a bunch of things I need to buy. I bought general purpose adhesive. For whenever I do the wings, it's going to cover a lot of area. Just in one go without having to worry about me using a glue gun, which is the next thing that I'm probably going to be using a lot of, is a glue gun. I am still totally forgot to buy the actual glue sticks that went in with it, but we'll probably figure that out later. Because currently we don't really need to glue anything. I'm still missing a lot of materials I have to use. I have two rolls of duct tape. I'm going to make a... I guess a dummy of myself for me to work with and make it kind of easier to work with. you probably see that later on. I've got, obviously, sketching materials. I'm going to sketch out what the pieces are going to be, basically, to stencil them. I have two pieces of elastic. These are going to be for the head, for the jaw specifically. I've got some wire. I wasn't sure how much I was going to need, so I just got two coils of it and... I'm hoping this is enough. I'm hoping it's not too thick. It was, honestly, my options for wire were very limited, so I'm like, well, let's just let's just get this one, even though it's a bit, I get it's kind of thick, but I think it's going to be good enough to where it's going to help the the head. Uh, this was what I I was going to do this for its eyes where they come out along the side to kind of hold them in place. So. I'm hoping this wire ends up holding it in place enough and it's thick enough. But it looks fine. The other one looked a bit too thin. I think the other one was like a 22 gauge. This one was a 16 gauge. So hopefully that works out well. I got this lovely pair of scissors. We're going to be working a lot. So I figured I'm going to get a pair of scissors. It's really comfortable for me. This one is spring loaded. So I'm not constantly um, making my uh, joints kind of hurt after working if I do use this a lot, which I will because I'm going to be cutting through a lot of stuff, but either way, way, this is a good pair of scissors to have. Then, this thing is just a model of a head. It's not obviously, it's not obviously exact to what I have, but it's something that I'm going to use to work with as I work along the head part of it, just to kind of have it on the model and from time to time fit it on my own head, make sure everything fits, but this is just there to work on the head for now so I have something to model with and then I've got the I did make a couple sketches I mostly of the head because that's the thing that I'm going to be working on first and then later on I'll work on the rest of the body but it's basically gonna try and uh, make it a bodysuit to where the wings are gonna be I guess the wings on the head are gonna be one of the most important parts I haven't decided how I'm going along with the rest of the body yet but for the head I kinda got to divide it up in parts it's kind of a front view that's a side view but as you can see, this part over here is going to come out a bit just to make room for its jaw, which it kind of has like a beak-like jaw. And then the wire is going to cover this part so it can actually stand up and stand out enough. And then the rest of this is going to be foam, but I'll probably discuss that later on as I move along. And then here I do, these are all in pieces, so this is going to be one piece. Its eyes are going to be cut out. It's going to be another piece there. This is another piece and then kind of fill this in with foam as I go along. Then there's the jaw and then there's the eye. And then that's basically kind of if you thought of it as a whole. It's what I kind of thought it would look like at the front. And then that's kind of an almost body image of what I expect to achieve as the outcome. So, this is day two, and I bought, as you can tell, a lot of materials. This is buckram fabric, and this is supposed to be for the eyes. I got way more than I should have, but it's it's pretty see-through, and you can't really see as much of it on top. So this is what I'm going to be using for the eyes when I get to it. I got, I got felt 
for the outside. Whenever I'm done with the basic form of it, this is what I'm going to cover it in. I'm definitely going to need more, as you can tell. The main thing that I got was all of this uh, foam. This is the main foam I'm going to be working with for the entire body, the face, the wings, and everything. So it was on sale. I got a lot of rolls of it. I decided to buy some glue for my hot glue gun. I figured I'm going to need as much as I can get. So this is high density foam that I got right here. This is usually comes in green. Then the one that I bought here, this one I bought at Walmart, this one I bought at Joann's. And this one is not high density foam. It's a different type of foam. This one is also one inch thick, but it's not as, I guess, it, it doesn't hold up form as well, but I also got this one. This one is usually white and I got two packs of that for when I work on other areas that don't need the high density foam. And then the last thing I got was a ski mask from Models because this is where everything is going to attach to and we're gonna work with that. So we're gonna have updates to come as we work on this and I did kind of finish up the stencils for the head but we'll work with that later on and we'll see how everything else progresses. So I'm currently on making the elastic part. As you can tell I messed up a couple times but this is where the jaw is gonna go this is supposed to hold the jaw in place as you guys will see later on and then I'm just working on a bunch of elastic stuff and then I have scissors I also redrew the stencils I made which I'll show off later but yeah I still need to make one more elastic piece kind of go around the head for more stability and then probably update you guys later on that so we're currently working on carving the pieces Kevin's here helping me with the glue I already kind of glued them on to where they belong and I've been carving these these things out. These hold it down, but careful, don't squish the face. You're squishing oh, the face. My beard. Yeah, but that's the face. I'm working on the back as well. So we're making progress. So here is my Lugia hat, helmet, whatever, head progress. I went through a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of trouble so far. So I might have a couple progress shots going on here, but this is what I've been working on for the past couple days and kind of why I didn't upload yesterday because I've been working on this, but this is made out of foam. Now from the progress shots, I had to make the eye a bit bigger just so I can actually see out of it. The bottom of the mouth still hasn't been attached because I might have to redo it. I've kind of been focusing on the top part of the head so far. And as you can tell, the top part of the head is kind of a mess. I, I went through a, a lot, a lot, a lot of trouble kind of shaping the head, kind of making sure that this curve was also... It was very consistent, which I, I got it pretty good. I mean, I might have to shave it down a tiny, tiny bit more. And then down here, I might have to shave the the angle here a bit steeper. I'm not sure yet. And then the other side, completely, I haven't even padded this part yet. I have to pad this little area right here. I have to make sure I get the padding down to there. I also have to make sure I make the eye a bit bigger because this is what the eye was before I made the other one bigger. So that's what it is now. This mouth is going to be movable but I haven't gotten around to that yet. This is what it looks like from the front so far. It's it's pretty decent from the front. Like you can kind of tell it's a Lugia. So we're getting there. I did buy a couple new um a couple new fabrics to work on the eyes. I'll work on the eyes later. This is just the basic shape of it. Later on, I'm gonna pad it, not pad it, but cover it with 
uh, fabric to give it the color that it's supposed to have. So currently, I'm I'm pretty happy with the way it's going so far. This is what it looks like from the back, by the way. I also have to pad down this this area right here, kind of figure out what's going on over here. I haven't haven't figured it out because I'm kind of doing it, you know, kind of by hey, let's try and see how this works. So right here, I originally started off. I had this padded, and then once I put this piece on, I realized I had to pad this a bit extra, so it was continuous. So I didn't finish up that side yet. But the overall product hopefully will look pretty good. I will definitely keep you guys updated and I'm going to show you guys what it looks like on my face. So, this is what it looks like on my face right now. This isn't attached, so this is, you know, it's just coming off right now. But I'm going to put it in place in a second. Well, not in a second, but later on. Because I haven't exactly figured out the jaw situation. But when it's supposed to attach to this bottom part right here. And once I do that, once I do that, then whenever I talk, it won't, it won't be like whenever I talk, this opens. It's kind of like, this is more like a, well, it's meant for posing. So like when I open my mouth fully, then it would be like, you know, I'd have to open my mouth fully for it to have a lot of movement. But like I said, it's kind of made for posing. This is what it looks like from the side. I forgot if this is the good side or the bad side. I think it's the good side because this is where I fixed up the eye. And then that's what it looks like from the back. And then that's what it looks like from the other side. So hopefully, hopefully you guys enjoy this. And you will see the progress as I go along. I think the most fun part is going to be when I get to the wings. So I have a lot of material for that. We're going to have a lot of fun doing this project. And hopefully... I'll be done by the time PAX East happens. That is the ultimate goal over here, is to be done by the time PAX East happens. And once PAX East is there, I'm going to be wearing this, so you won't be able to miss me. And hopefully you guys enjoy this video. I will keep you updated with progress. As always, I love you guys very, very much, and have a wonderful day, and bye.